United States, Ambassador and Mrs. Thomas Klestel, and Mr. Rudolph Salinger.
ja. Ladies and gentlemen, I think all of you join me in thanking our friends from Austria in bringing this wonderful group here. As you know, they are touring the United States with these magnificent Lipizzaner horses, and we have only seen just a tiny bit of what they actually do in their exhibitions, partly due to the soft ground here. But uh, Mr. Solinger, who is the president of the Chamber of Commerce in Austria, is responsible for not only this display, but that magnificent stallion, Amadeus, <laughs> is a gift to the people of the United States by way of Mr. Solinger, and will remain here when they have finished their tour and go home. The ambassador, Mrs. Kestel, we are pleased and proud to be a part of this. I don't know how many Americans realize, but the ambassador and Mr. Solinger just reminded me a few moments ago, and you should know, maybe it is, well, it is particularly fitting that this is the first time this has ever happened on the White House lawn. <laughs> just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm talking too long. <laughs> I'll make it short. But we did play a part in the continuation of this ancient institution, this school of riding, and the continuation of this, of the Lipizzaner horses. And in the great tragedy of World War II, it was the late General Patton knowing of them and being a lover of the horse himself who smuggled these horses away and saved them, preserved them so that they could then be given back to Austria and the war was over and that this great institution would continue. We're grateful to all of you for being here for this fine exhibition and uh, more grateful than I can say for this gift to the people of America, symbolic of the great friendship between our two peoples. Amadeus, you keep your ears up there and you can go ahead and shout all you want to now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May I say a few words? Yes, please do. Herr Präsident, meine sehr geehrten Damen und Herren, Als Vertreter der Wirtschaft habe ich ein weißes Pferd ins Weiße Haus gebracht. Es ist ein Dank der österreichischen Wirtschaft für die Hilfe des amerikanischen Volkes bei unserem Aufbau zu einer freien und zu einer leistungsfähigen Wirtschaft. Ich erinnere an den Marshallplan und ich erinnere auch daran, dass General Patton mit seinen Soldaten diese weißen Pferde gerettet hat. Lassen Sie mich deshalb Ihnen, Herr Präsident, herzlich danken und das Pferd als Geschenk an Sie und an das amerikanische Volk übergeben. Mr. President, I'm sorry, sir. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, as a representative of the Austrian economy and of Austrian business, it's a great pleasure to me to have brought uh, this white horse to the White House. And this horse symbolizes the gratitude that the Austrian economy owes to the United States for your generous support to bring us freedom and to bring us a free and efficient economy after World War II. I also recall fondly how these horses were saved by General Patton. And uh, Mr. President, this horse is a personal gift to you as well as a gift to all of the American people. Thank you very much.
Thank you for the patience and all the patience. Well, all right. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, I guess we, we should thank all of you. It was such a pleasure, such an honor to be here. You know, back home, it's called the California. My six years as consul general. Right. Well, good morning, gentlemen. We remain here. No, no, I don't know. Yes, sir. 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 Y